Hello everyone, this is uh, Gray Walker or Blender Helix Alpha, and today I'm going to go over um, how to do uh, seamless textures in GIMP. Um, if you want GIMP, uh, if you don't know what GIMP is, it's sort of a photo manipulation software, uh, such as Photoshop uh, or Paint.net or something like that. Uh, if you want GIMP, which is a free software, you can go to GIMP.org and uh, download GIMP 2.6. That's what we'll be working with today. Uh, so let's go into GIMP, file new, and uh, we're going to go with, uh, actually, let's cancel that out, and uh, let's go ahead and get something online, just so I can uh, show you guys an example. So let's, uh, let's type in rock texture, and uh, usually we'll be making our own and stuff, but uh, let's go with this one. So it's a fairly high res texture. Let's uh, right click and copy and uh, go into our GIMP, edit, paste. Now uh, what we're going to be doing today is making seamless tiled textures, which basically basically means that if you wanted to use a sculpting software in order to tile your textures, or uh, a sculpting software so you could paint your textures uh, and make it look smooth and nice uh, without any uh, tiles, um, you would have to do what I'm about to teach you. Um, so if you're going to tile it right now, you would be able to see easily that it wouldn't be smooth and it would just look like the picture is repeating, as you can see here. But if we go to Filters, Map, Make Seamless, which comes default with GIMP, you'll see that it, it kind of takes each corner and flips it and then gradients it into the uh, image. So now if we were to tile this, you can see that uh, it'll be really nice and smooth and uh, actually look like just all one texture. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cancel out that operation because it looks like I tiled it way too much. So instead of tiling it up that high, let's just go and filter and uh, I'm going to make my set mine seamless again. And uh, let's go to filter, map, tile, um, check, uncheck, create new image, and uh, let's just make this 5,000, and that should tile it into a pretty good sized image. And you can see that it all looks like one tiled image now, and it all smooths together. And if we hadn't had... Uh, made this seamless, uh, there would be seams everywhere, and it wouldn't look very good, and uh, so I could take that image, uh, this image right here, and put this into Sculptress, or uh, ZBrush, or Blender, or uh, something like that, or uh, 3ds Max for that matter, and uh, we could use this to texture paint, and um, yeah, we can make it look a little bit better by going into Filters, Enhance, Unsharp Mask, just to give that a little edge. And since this is a really high res image right now, it doesn't look like it, but it is pretty high res, uh, you can see that the difference uh, is phenomenal with that unsharp mask. Um, so here it is without unsharp mask, and here it is with the unsharp mask. Really brings out the detail. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, just to give it more depth, you can go to Tools, Color Tools, curves and uh, a really good way to use the uh, curve editor uh, just an easy way to uh, do it is or, or you could go to presets and uh, choose a preset preset or make your own preset um, which is good or you could just uh, click in the middle and drag this one down to about here and then get one here and drag it here and uh, that gives uh, a lot more color makes it look uh, much different um, if you were really wanting to edit the image a lot, you could make make something like this. That's pretty cool, actually. Make something like this, and then bring that up quite a bit. Or move it to here. Just whatever uh, floats your boat. And uh, there's quite a bit you could do with that. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope this helped you out and gave you a little bit more knowledge in GIMP. And uh, thanks a lot. Hope this helped you out.